Our journey takes us further north as we head for the Highlands. The destination may have changed, but those breathtaking views remain wherever we drive in Scotland. Boat of Garton Golf Club, which I'll be honest with you, Boat of Garton, I thought it was a yacht club, but it appears not. And uh, it's asking a bit of a question on the first tee. 190 yards, par three, two hour car journey. Asking a question, that is. Oh, that's not a bad start. It's certainly the safe side. Is it crept on? We're on the green. Happy with that. Let's go and see what Boat of Garton's all about. Can we kick off the next leg of the trip with a uh, with a birdie? I must admit, I didn't fancy that. I hit uh, I hit three iron, and uh, I've been hitting a lot down the left, and there was a lot of trouble down that left. So it wasn't the most uh, I wasn't the most confident. Right, come on, let's get this day off to a flyer. Got half a chance. <sighs> Only half a chance. I'll have to be generous and give myself that for a three. Not a bad backdrop I can sense already. I'd have took that on the tee all day long. Right, let's get going. Each hole at Boater Garden is framed by that mature tree line and the fairways roll and meander through the heathland. A flat lie, well that's a rare find. three iron into hole six. I thought it was a great shot. It just started to cut a little bit towards the end of its ball flight. Lost ball. So you've got to know your way around here a little bit and you've got to know where you can miss and where you can't. And I still can't see that again. I've lost it. Wow. Two incredibly tough golf holes. A bit of breeze up there, don't that's enough. That's short? Well, we'll soon find out. Right opposite of what we just had, uh, where we was down the dip and couldn't see, this one's perched up high, but again, doesn't look a great deal that we can, uh, there's not a room for, a lot of room for error is what I'm thinking while I'm trying to work out where this is going. It's gone high, is that enough? Go, go. That's a firm bounce. 
which might have done me a favour actually, we'll see. Because this is the moment, I think I'm going to get a hole in one. It's not like... Now my golf's not, that's, uh, my golf's not been great. I, in fact, I've just been getting um, swing tips off the camera woman. That, that's, that's where I'm at. She's just told me I need to slow it down a bit. I'm not playing great at the minute. So maybe uh, a bit ambitious hole in one. Maybe if I could get it on the green, it's, at least that's a start. Yeah, the hole in one was ambitious. Get a kick. And we didn't even hit the green. It's not great. Right, well, we didn't hit the green, but we might. Again, let's see if we can get a birdie to get something to get this going a bit. Greens are tough. This has got this has got slope and movement. Oh, that's a par. We'll have to start with a par. Take the positive. It's not a bogey. Well, I haven't hold it yet. restriction distance on the third hole and uh, I've continued to use it and no disrespect to Strixon but the Strixon distance is not the best of balls let's be honest but that's how bad my game is too fearful of losing a decent ball anyway it's been the, the last hole was uh, the best hole I've played so let's see if we can keep that going That's a weak shot, but it's the middle of the fairway, so that can't be too bad. I said stroke indexes two and three were difficult. I don't know what they were, were they all six and seven? But stroke one is seriously, I reckon, one of the most difficult golf holes I've seen on a golf course. If you look back that way, it's where you drive from back into the corner. I found the long rough on the left, so don't worry about my ball, but then second shot in, you're playing into this real bottleneck and there is it's the narrowest bottleneck uh, again no room for error whatsoever left and right and i'm gonna have to cut this here and i'll walk around the corner and i'll show you where you're then going to with your third shot or in in theory third shot it's a par five if you can get yourself into here you're paying into a pin that's tucked away to that left hand side and uh, again you can see the changes in um uh, the slopes that are both left and right and cambers it's i find it a really difficult golf course to play i really do my game's not been great but you a, a it's difficult to play but i also think it's very important so if you, if you want to have a good round around here i think you'd have had to play it before because you've got to know the cambers on the tee shots and into greens because they're quite severe and and even some good shots can be uh yeah perhaps a little bit unduly punished if you don't know those cambers well, when it all gets a bit too much, grab yourself a uh, so Marks and Spencer's best ever sausage roll and take a seat on the back of the 14th because it's fair to say that um, Boater Garten is certainly winning at the minute in terms of golf. Um, but it's been, it's been in great condition. It's like I said on the previous clip, you need to know your way around. And uh, it's, I would call it idyllic because if I said listen to that, it's absolutely deathly silent. We're playing at sort of it's now about half past five uh, late in the afternoon and you cannot hear nothing apart from the river which i think is the river spay that's just running in the background and that's nice i'm eating sausage roll
back because uh, I always talk about anyone who knows I like a view on a golf course and that's uh, not a badly framed view back of the Cairngorms again but what I was showing with you is this this is the 15th and it's aptly named Gully and uh, it again ties in with what I said about knowing your way around and making sure you club your way around because if you hit driver then you end up without doubt if you've hit it straight enough in what I call a gully anyway so I assume that's the uh, the reference point and uh, when you're down in that dip like I said anything from sort of uh, so this is 150 in and then past that you're down that dip and then you're playing blind over the brow so it's important to sort of know and club your way around and I've got perfect position here and I can see the flag Right, 18th hole, 426, stroke four. And again, looks to be a bit of uh, dog leg left to right, and again, quite a camber. So we'll see if we can send one down the left with a bit of cut, but not, not as far left as last time. That's a ball. Come off that bank now. That should be bang on, it's right on the clubhouse line. Oh, that's perfect. Right, uphill finish. Perfect drive, can we finish it up with a perfect iron? Keep cutting, keep cutting, keep cutting. Go on, go on. Oh, what a shot to finish. A little bit of luck granted with the bounce off the left, but uh, it's not been my best round of golf, so that's a nice iron to finish with. I haven't smiled much around here in terms of my golf, but it's took two of my Sunday best to get up here. I tell you, it was, um, they, they were literally out the top draw and I want to finish on a birdie, so I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna mark this and concentrate. But I'm gonna just quickly talk about the course. Um, tranquil serene uh, idyllic all those kind of words um it's it's very it's very quiet out there and it's a nice place to play some golf it really is i do think if you're not on your game as i probably wasn't today it can be uh, it can be brutal it can be punishing it's a tough test of your golf um, a tough and fair test of your golf but that's enough of that because i want to finish on a birdie like i said i've not been particularly great all round if we can finish on a high, we're smiling, ready for tomorrow. Oh, jeez. Oh, I did a little bit of a Kevin Nah stepped after that one, a little bit prematurely. But there you go, a decent part. And a nice way to finish. A nice round of golf.